Indigenous people or North American Indians were the first settlers and by far have lived here the longest. From about 12,000 to about 8,000 years ago, Native Americans who were organized in hunting and gathering bands inhabited what is known as South Louisiana. Kathy Verdan and Alexis Verdan, whose ancestry dates back to the beginning of history, both recall what it means to be Native American. To be Native American, to be the first people here, uh, you know, things have changed since, I guess, they first got here after Christopher Columbus. Uh, if you go into your history, you'll realize that uh, the United States government wanted to get rid of all the Indians, but they didn't because it would cost too much money. So that's why they put them in, I call them, we call them concentration camps, but that's not what it was called. But, uh, and they were trying to kill the Indian in our ancestors. So, Trail of Tears, all that. But down the Bayou, the native people during my time could only go up till eighth grade, where the whites and the blacks had their schools. We only went to eighth grade, not until integration where we were able to go to high school. So as far as our native people, we have lagged far behind as far as uh, college. Now, thank you, Jesus, you're free to go as high as you would like. Although they are from the same family, Alexis had a completely different experience growing up in the Lower Bayou region, and she thanks her parents and her grandparents for contributing to keeping their native traditions alive. Growing up in Native American tradition in Dulac, Louisiana, I am an eighth generation Native American. Uh, my family has been in the Lower Bayou region since the beginning. Um, growing up, we attended powwows and my parents always made sure that we had Native American heritage all the time. Um, my parents lived off the land. My dad and my mom shrimp for a living and my dad also crabs and that's how they make their living off the land and that's what we use as our resources. Due to flooding and land loss, a lot of Native Americans within Alexis's generation are leaving the Bayou regions. When asked about raising her family down in the bayou, this is what Alexis had to say. Well, I have a one-year-old, his name is Amori. Um, he is also Native American and I have a tribal number. So as he's growing up, he'll also have one because of me. Um, I do plan on bringing him up in the Native American heritage and bring him to powwows and making sure that does stay in his life and he knows what Native Americans actually, where we came from. Um, we lived in Dulac. I don't plan on moving back so he can be there, but my parents and my grandparents live down there. So he gets to see a little bit of what they do and he gets to see my dad and my stepdad, how they shrimp. And he's also been on the boats to get to see what they do. Finally, I asked Miss Kathy, what hopes does she have for the future and the legacy she plans on leaving behind, not only for her family, but for other Native American families as well? What I would like to leave is you can be what you want. You just have to work at it. Nobody gives it to you. Whether you're federally recognized or not, if you have the motivation, the goals, the perseverance to keep doing, it's a lifetime. Do what you like. It's not a job if you do what you like. It's whatever you want to be.